Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be learning how to apply a color splash effect in Photoshop. So today I'm just going to be using this image of a few vegetables here and I'm just going to try to make this green pepper um, splash out like you saw in the thumbnail of the video. So to start off, um, if your layer is locked, just double click it if it has the lock symbol and hit OK. This is already unlocked. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and right click it and go to duplicate layer. Um, you have to make sure that it's in the document. If you have two documents open or three or however many, you have to make sure it's um, duplicating in this document. Uh, you can name it whatever you like and hit OK. Now, first things first, we're going to go ahead and make sure the copied um, image is selected. Go to Image, Adjustments, and you can either hit black and white or you could go to Saturation and lower it all the way. I'm just going to go ahead and click black and white and that lowers the saturation for us so that's good the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and click the copied layer go to layer layer mask and hit reveal all so what this does is it creates a layer mask on top of the layer this little white symbol should have popped up next to the image thumbnail right here for the layer now there's a few things that you could do from here on so the first thing you could do is use the pen tool if you'd like to do that you can go ahead and do that just for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be using the brush just to show you the what I think is the simplest way to do this. So what you want to do is make sure that you have your layer mask selected. So that should be this white layer next to your background copy. As you'll see in the bottom right here, there'll be a white and a black. So basically what this does is if you have the layer mask layer selected and you have your black color on and then you paint through, you'll see the color that's behind it on the next layer. So black basically lets the color, it basically creates a transparency in that layer. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select our brush, make sure that the black color is selected, and then start drawing around the green pepper. I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. Now, if you have gone over, like I have, and you've gone out of the lines of your um, shape, you can go ahead and switch the colors. So you want to make sure that you're using the white now. And then just go over it and it should get rid of that color that was coming through. Okay, so that's good enough. Now, um, I know it's not the best, and there's still some edges that aren't great, but um, it's just an example. So yeah, so that's basically how it's done. Now, if you've noticed, um, if I just go ahead and turn on and off the visibility of that layer, the colors will come back. So the reason that we made this layer mask was to basically make sure that uh, we could still apply effects to the background and it wouldn't change. We could have simply just used an eraser on this layer, um, but it would have sort of ruined it because if you're putting any effects on afterwards it would have like went through if you're putting like a blur or things like that so the layer mask was definitely definitely comes in handy um, just a few things you could like lower the opacity to make the colors come through a bit but still keep that color as the brightest so just to show you what I was saying if you went ahead um, to like your filters and you added like a blur <clears throat> to the layer that green pepper or whatever your color splash um, object is will still go through so just like that you can see but that um, blur effect is on the rest of the items so yeah um, I hope you understand if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you I'm sorry that I haven't made a video in a while um, I'm definitely gonna make a few coming up soon. Uh, I'll try to post every weekend uh, just like a short tutorial because uh, it doesn't take too long to make. If you guys have any suggestions for future tutorials um, in Photoshop, Sony Vegas, or even After Effects, please let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.